Hi, welcome back. In my previous video, I talked about the Meshtastic 2.7 Preview New Base UI. Okay, so they totally redesigned the user interface in Meshtastic 2.7 enough that they would give it a name. Look for the link down below to the blog article. There's a lot of details. I'm not going to get into all of them, but you can set the region, time zone on the device. Uh, there's Linux joystick support, and you can switch between the new base UI and the MUI on some supported devices. I'm going to go ahead and go into Flasher here, select the Helltech V3, and now I've got to click down here and click on the pre-release 2.7 Tech Preview. 2.7 Tech Preview. And let's go ahead and hit Flash. Now, you know when you flash, you're going to have to do a full flash on this. So you're going to want to back up your private keys, etc., that's all lit up in red right here on the screen when you select full erase and install. Go ahead and select the serial port and connect and it's starting to flash. So right here you see out of the gate once it starts up you get to set the region and you can do it right here. Yeah, short press takes you through the menu items, long press selects the highlighted menu item. So I just need to use a short press to get to US and long press to select US and now we've set the region. Before you'd have to connect up on Bluetooth to do that. Now you can just do it right on the device. Let's check out the rest of the features. Okay, so I want to step through what we're going to see on the Helltech menu. Okay, this is the main menu right here. You see the number of nodes online. You don't have GPS. You got your uptime, your voltage, channel utilization, and this node name. Okay, long press here gives you this I can sleep the screen, I can send a preset message, press and hold. So here we can select a message, hi, bye, yes, no, okay, or exit, but we can actually select the destination as well. So I'm going to select 577B, that's actually... <laughs> That's actually the Helltech back home. I'm going to press and hold. So that selects that as the destination. And we'll select hi, press and hold, and the message is sent. All right. So you can even send a message without using your phone. I'm in the hotel, so I don't have any meshtastic signal here. We should see that it failed. Let's see. Yeah. Delivery to meshtastic 577B failed. Yeah. I, I'm in a black hole here, so but I can send messages. <laughs> I, I bet you can go in the app and change the presets too, so that would be very useful. But you can send a message without using your phone. Now, the Helltech only has this one button here, so I'm gonna press that. Let's see, no messages. Okay, there's a node list. There's some unknowns. We'll take a look at that. Let's see, no GPS. Okay, there's the channel information, long, fast, frequency. Again, the node short name. Bluetooth is available. Home press here, there's nothing on the menu. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. And yeah, there's your regional settings. Let's see, it's going to take me through a bunch of regional settings. So, short press takes you through the menu and it loops all the way through. Back to the beginning. Get there pretty quick. Yeah, it takes us back to US. Let's see. Yeah, this is just the system information. Okay, well, if I long press here, you get a menu, and this is beep mode, all enable. Short press takes you through the menu, and you loop through the menu all the way, and then you hold it, and that takes you back. The long press makes your selection. Let's go to the time. Yeah, this is one I haven't set yet. Pick time zone. Let's see. U.S. I'm looking for U.S. Arizona is what I want. I'm going to take U.S. Pacific because right now, yeah, and that's correct. So here's my clock in U.S. Pacific time. All right. So what it's basically done is it's extended so you can set your time zone. <laughs> <laughs> set set your regional settings. Oh, long press gives you shutdown. 
<laughs> so that's the old UI had long press gives you shut down and you press again and you resume. Okay, well that was fun. So we see the menu bar disappears on its own. And some of these menu items have a long press menu option. All right, so overall, you've extended the functionality to where this is a lot more of a standalone device. I can't wait to see what this looks like on the T-Deck. Yeah, <laughs> the T-Deck, you can actually get it to read your messages out loud. <laughs> yeah, so we'll stay tuned for that one. Okay, look for the links down below to the article. Check out my previous video. Give this video a like, leave a comment down below, and before you go watch more of my Meshtastic videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.